Hey, what are you doing there? That's it. I'm gonna go get my dad. Mordecai, look behind you. Yep. I'm here, and I saw oh, everything, crap. so yeah. Guess they do. You watch a new Revolution TV, Revolution Unites Your Life. And in this episode, the NSA is watching this video, we have Dr. Anarchy. Alright, thank you, Mordecai, for having me on your show. And we also have Jensen Winchester. Thanks, on. Mordecai, for having me on your show. On I'm Skype. sorry I had to be so, here through begin. Skype at the current moment. The NSA's origins can be traced back to World War One to MI8. MI8 was shut down by the U.S. Secretary of State, Henry Stimson, who said, Gentlemen, do not read each other's um, mail. Now, Mordecai, you also have to remember that the NSA was actually founded in 1952 under Truman's administration, even though it is inspired by MI8. Also, in the 1960s, NSA operated Project Myart, which illegally targeted Senator Frank Church, Senator Howard Baker, and Martin Luther King Jr. Minaret program was outright illegal, yet they still operated it. Furthermore, to add on to what you were saying, Dr. Anarchy, and what to Mordecai was saying, is a congressional hearing was held by Frank Church, and they found evidence that Jane Fonda and Benjamin Spock were spied on because of their views on Vietnam by the NSA. NSA was found to have illegally wiretapped American citizens' phones during the 60s, 70s, and 80s. In 1978, the Foreign Intelligence Act was passed to limit mass surveillance. In 1999, the European Parliament launched an investigation into the NSA where NSA was suspended and suspected of abuse of surveillance and manipulation of economies, if you will. New World Order, if you ask me. Is there anything you would like to add to that, Dr. Anarchy? Alright, for one, Jensen, there is no such thing as a New World Order. There is no scientific evidence or historical evidence for anything such as the New World Order. But yes, I'd like to add a few things to that, Mordecai. In 2002, NSA whistleblowers complained about the NASA program Trailblazer initiated due to the war on terror. This led to Congress, NSA, and the Department of Defense investigating the NSA. These programs were canceled in 2004. It was over the budget. Baltimore Sun ran articles about this in 2006 to 2007. Thomas Drake, one of the whistleblowers, had his house invaded by the government in 2010, and in 2011, all charges on him were dropped. All right, furthermore, to add on to what you were saying, Dr. Anarchy, is in June 2013, the massive extent of NSA spying foreign and domestic was revealed to the public by NSA contractor Edward Snowden. It was revealed that NSA spies on American people and those who oppose them, including the UN. NSA uses Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Yahoo, YouTube, AOL, Skype, Apple, and PalTalk to spy on American citizens. Through 2000 to 2008, the NSA spied on pacifist groups, Wiccan groups, pagan groups, and several others as ordered by the Bush administration. To add on to what you're saying, Mordecai, um, the NSA also spies on influential Muslims that are not suspected of any crime whatsoever, such as Farrakhan, um, when Malcolm X was alive, the NSA spied on him, and other influential Muslims that have not even been suspected as terrorists or anything of that sort. What you're leaving out, Dr. Anarchy, is there's no congressional oversight mm -hmm. of the NSA. Not only that, you're leaving out that it is the Illuminati, the New World Order, the NWO, mm -hmm. the thing that you're denying the very existence of, and I'm very no, curious about videos. why you're denying the existence of the New World Order. Is it because perhaps your Jensen, videos... if you're going to accuse me of something, let me explain my position on this. I'm not this. sure if you have any, but is it perhaps Jensen, the okay. videos you perhaps plan to do is nothing other the than... The thing is, all the claims that you're trying to make, there is... That's there once was a know. group called the Illuminati back in the 1700s, I believe, and this group was against the very stuff that you're claiming 
that they represent. Yeah. But it was in 1776 by a Jesuit priest named Adam West Hapt, or West Hype, I don't remember the exact name. Yeah. But this Adam West Hapt, um, you know what, I, I, we can have a discussion about this later. This video is about the NSA, and yeah. not about this Illuminati this that you are talking about. So maybe, perhaps... Uh, Mordecai can be the moderator of a debate between me and you about this topic, but this topic of this video is not of the Illuminati, so I don't understand why you're trying to make it about that. Okay, that's all we have time for today. Um, sorry, starts. Um, that's all we have time for for this video of the NSA is watching this video. Um, in the Crotch bar below is some links, a link to Jensen's YouTube page and another YouTube page that Jensen's a member of called the Temple of Hidden Truth, I think it's called. Him and my friend Peter Burgess now run the site instead of Lance Bartlett, who was the original creator of the Temple of Hidden Truth. Also in the crotch bar below is links to Dr. Anarchy's YouTube page and I believe his Facebook page. And in the crotch bar below will be the extended version of this video of Jensen Winchester's version, if you will, of this video. It's not that much longer. It's like a few more minutes. Um, anyways, um, thanks for watching. I'm Mordecai Lacrosse. Peace out. Until next time. Adios.